2022 look at that 2022 and we're back with a vengeance who'd have thought it they said we'd never come back we said we would didn't we didn't we lads well covid probably um uh hit, hit a few of us well it might have done, but <laughs> yeah. tell you what look at phil phil's back with a vengeance in his studio he's not in his fresh. gym jams <laughs> not, even, not even his pajamas oh. he hasn't got uh, colored patches on the wall behind him it's extraordinary mm. Yeah, I thought I'd better lift my credibility up a bit by just showing, showing some bits of hardware for show. <laughs> yeah, I've done the same. I just moved mine there. Mm, yeah. That's great radio Looking again. Look at all that buttons. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fantastic. And Martin's <laughs> Martin over there has got his toilet window behind him. So it's all very exciting. <laughs> all very exciting. And what a show we've got lined up for you tonight. Martin has bookended things beautifully as always. And we have a sandwich in the centre with a lot of meat and spread. I tell you what, there's an awful lot in there. We're a lot of vocals in this week's one. So well, should we crack yes. straight in? We've got a lot of tunes to get through here. Yeah. We've got all sorts to go in. Martin, what have we got coming up first? Uh, okay, yeah. Well, this is Rusty Nails by Robag Room. Uh, one of my, something from my record collection. Um, uh, it's good stuff. Um, now, this is going to be difficult because it's the it's from the album. You have to bear with me here. Wap Deck Mish Mamp Flow. That's easy. <laughs> easy for you to say, Martin. I know. <laughs> Absolutely. I tell you what, uh, let's have a listen. Let's yeah. have a listen. We'll have a proper talk about it on the other side. That'll be the easiest thing. So this is Rusty Nails by Robag Vroom. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nails by I'm going to try it again. Robag Vroom, 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 mm, mm. and what a Vroom Vroom that was, Martin. It was quite a song indeed, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know much about um, uh, this guy, but he's from Germany. Um, mm. Apparently bo- born in Apolda, uh, which actually means bell town because it's a uh, um, they they use bells for Cologne Cathedral. Apparently, fascinating so, fact. Uh, yeah, amazing fact. Um, but his real yeah. name is Gabor or Gabor uh, Shablitsky. Shablitsky. Or, yeah. So he's taken that and uh, turned turn around his uh, Christian name into Robag. So apparently it's what he likes doing. I don't know where Vroom comes from, um, but I turned around his surname, but I couldn't, pro- I couldn't pronounce it. So <laughs> that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a, a German techno DJ, isn't he? Yes, yes. So I probably think about... Well, probably about our age as well so i think he's yeah. you know he's done stuff you know from the 80s yeah yeah absolutely because i did have a look at a bit of a browse around his website i loved it i do like a bit of uh, industrial german techno don't you mm. phil you look like an industrial german techno kind of guy oh too. yeah oh um, well i'm from the original i'm a fan of the originals craft work of course mm, so well, my of first course. favorite electronic band but, oh, the uh, K-word. yeah i've said about this one yeah the k word it sort of got in early um, I'll put the sweet goodness of Drambuey, complemented by the dry hit of Scotch, makes this rusty nail a well-balanced, gender-fluid composition, full of class and sophistication. Oh, that is good. Short I can and see sweet, what you've me, done there, Phil. I can see exactly what you've done there. Rusty yeah. nail. It's the They're cocktail. Mm. You've whacked it in there. Yeah, it's a cocktail. And there's a mm. bit of a cocktail of sounds and, and what have you going on on in this tune mm, mm. real classy got an 80s yeah. feel to it really good well good bit of know, work. interesting you say that because i wrote that for that as well and i think there's a bit of an 80s feel theme going through the whole of the show tonight mm, yeah yeah there, there, there's very got a retro yeah. feel to it with modern music yeah yeah retro feel with modern music yeah. absolutely it's, mm. it's, the, it's the modern way isn't it phil yeah nice to hear a lot of vocals as well it is nice to hear mm. a lot of vocals as well. Speaking of that, nice to hear a lot of vocals, but strangely not hearing them this time round. Coming up next, Johnny Diamond. Yes. Now, normally he's, he does yes. a lot of vocals in his song. This, this is time, an instrumental from, from him. Instrumental. Yeah. So let's kick mm. straight into that one. We'll yeah. Chat about it on the other side. But it is our good friend, Johnny Diamond. This is a lovely song. Friend of the show, mate. Friend of the show with, sig- with The Signal.
Johnny Diamond with the signal. I really enjoyed that. That was a more ambient piece from him, wasn't it? And it's the same artist, no, mm. no vocals for a change, which is unusual for him. Yeah. Um, well, Pat, he said uh, the start, obviously, it's, it's something to do with um, um, his love of uh, like X Files and things like that. So, uh, the, so the signal at the be- the drone at the beginning is to um, uh-huh. is to get that idea of an alien signal. Um, uh-huh. I, yeah. So, uh, so he used a lot, bit of, a lot of guitar work, um, but uh, but in a very creative way. Um, going through some effects, splitting recording into two tracks and then uh, panning them left and right and playing them backwards, apparently. Um, uh, uh, he's quite old school. He, he records Blimey. on a ta- Tascam Porter studio as oh, well. Really? Mm. There was a lovely lead synth in there as well, and I couldn't put my finger on what it was. Now, Phil, you've mm. usually got an ear for this sort of stuff. I don't, don't suppose you could spot what it was in there, could you? I wondered if it was his uh, sequential... Um keyboard he's got oh could be he's got a um yeah i can't remember which model it is whether it's the um uh, i can't can't remember the exact one but he's got a he's got a decent piece of sequential kit i know that Mm. it'd be the expensive one no matter which one it is because they're all expensive anyway aren't they yeah they're all they're all pricey unlike the cheap shit behind me (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> how do you say that Phil I mean anybody listening on the radio can't see it but you've got the uh, the classic um, it's called over your right shoulder the Arp Odyssey but it's oh, it's the Bay Ringer version oh yeah don't matter though it still sounds amazing yeah. the most complicated piece oh, of kit I've ever seen in my life beautiful mm. yeah brilliant it might be cheap shit it's what you do it's what you do with it Phil that matters it's what you do with it yeah exactly exactly yeah. so sorry yeah phil johnny go on yeah but back to back to johnny i've put here um mm. our very own Do- diamond geezer pulls on his vast, vast experience of historical new wave and electronica to serve up a bang up to date nod to the past echoes of talking heads david sylvian and john fox abound mm. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, David Sylvian. Uh, I did write down David Sylvian. And we had something a few weeks back I wrote down David Sylvian for as well, but I can't remember yeah. what that was. Might have been another Johnny Diamond. I can't remember. Can't beat a bit of David Sylvian. Yeah, it's mm. good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he's in good company there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a great choice. I mean, we always, we would love a bit of Johnny Diamond, don't we? We've played loads of his stuff before, but he's great. And he posted up something recently. I should have looked this up because then I've had the facts in front of me and I haven't got them here. But he posted up something recently that he's, was it on Drupal or somewhere he'd had, um, it had like a, a consistent level of yeah. um, like charting within it. I think it might have been Drupal. I can't remember what it was now. Was yeah. it Drupal? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's charted quite high in the main, one of the main yeah. charts in there mm. for quite a considerable time, for like months on end. So he's done really well there. Because Drupal's not easy. You usually end up at the top of the chart for like an hour or a oh, day sure. or something like that, and then you drop straight out of it. Um, mm. But yeah, he's done well there. Great choice. So coming up next, uh, tell me what, again, we'll, we'll jump straight into this and jump straight out. Um, so this is Not My Time, Zero Corporation. <laughs>
time zero corporation again martin a very 80s feel to that one there mm, very uh yeah sort of i mean the the, the drums um it remind me of simmons i'm not sure they are simmons but uh mm. simmons drum kit very uh retro wave john fox bill sort of there's, there's sort of like a billy curry solo in there that sort of sounds a bit very very arp odyssey uh, uh, yeah. As we talked, alluded to uh, in the background of a uh, film yeah. over Phil's shoulder, and I, actually, I put down Japan here as well. Got a sort of Japan feel. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it did have that real right, feel yeah. about it again, didn't it? And it, 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 where are they from? Uh, well, this is John Coleman. Uh, he's also Dark Zine, and we we have had you know this is the second track we played from him uh, on the show, and. Uh, uh, so he's under the Zero Corporation and this uh, identity. He said it, it says like an alternative Bond theme. He, he said. Um, so he's he's been again. He's been around uh, for quite some time and had a lot of exposure on TV and radio, etc. Had a very Swedish feel to it as well, to me. Um, yeah. I think he's from Derbyshire. So really, well, <laughs> he's certainly got a bit of <laughs> Swedish blood in him from somewhere because he could definitely. <laughs> She was smoking a cigarette, playing the CD player, listening to the beautiful music. I knew this was coming. <laughs> I knew that was coming out. Well, we got a Swedish act coming up, so he, he, can, go, he can pretend That's to be brilliant. Swedish again. Might yeah. get two in one night. Come on, yeah. come on, Phil. Put your masterful words around yeah. this. Well, it's amazing, amazing what he, Martin just said because um, I've put from zero to hero. This could be the next big Bond team. Oh, slamming <laughs> drums. Iconic chorus phrases and Nick Rhodes stabs. It's got all the ingredients. It really is no time to die because that's the lyrics, which is like Bond lyrics. So yep. I must have picked up on it there somehow. Yeah, yeah. Mm, Nick Rhodes yeah. plucks as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd agree with all that. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a great. It's a great song. So was that um, was that ascending? Was it? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, he sends. It's, he's got, it's got a few. Uh, we got lined up ready for other shows as well. So. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, big, obviously now one of our regulars. Well, indeed, and we have got, I mean, for the coming shows, we've got such a pile of stuff that's been sent through, so it's fantastic, which has given us loads mm. of stuff, or we say we, this Martin has to pick through all this and put it all together, and then Phil and I just sit here and chat about it, which is really nice. Um, but we <laughs> yeah. have got an absolute pile of stuff that's been sent through, which is brilliant. But if you do want to send something through, please do. And it is Pulse 8 Radio, that's P O L S number eight radio at gmail.com uh, send it through there and then uh, phil and i will leave all the hard work to martin to look through all that <laughs> and we'll just sit here and pretend we're <laughs> to. 
It's usually what happens. The man with uh, the taste. Yeah. yeah. Well, exactly. I mean, you, you know, it's horses for courses, Phil, isn't it? You know, Martin's yeah. got the ear. It's his own fault. Absolutely, yeah. So, you know, what are we supposed to do? Uh, and that was a great song, though. Thank you very much for sending <laughs> it in. Uh, and, uh, so let's jump on to the next one. So this is, I like this one. This was very unusual. Uh, <sighs> one of Their Agents by Simon Beck. Agents by Simon Beck. 
It's a very curious sound. I did like that, and it just had that sort of. Um, I yeah. don't know. It, it it sounded like something out of a spy movie right from the first couple of lines, didn't it? Was that? Yeah, I, I, I thought I thought so. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like a theremin, doesn't it? Yeah, it did sound like a theremin, and I thought it yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. Mm, and but I, don't, was, I, yeah. I think he's I think he said it was um, an auto harp sound. Oh, an auto, uh, which is used oh. playing on an iPad app. So but is that not the plucked yeah. sound? Would that not be the plucked sound? I don't, sound I don't know. Oh, maybe that's a plucked sound. But yeah, certainly uh, it's got that. Um, to me, yeah. it could. Yeah, I, I mean, I said, yeah, yeah that, that uh, it could be a, a something from the P- Poirot theme or Ip- Ipcrest Files or something like that. Yeah. Ipcrest Files, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Michael Caine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did. But it was it was really good. I could see straight away from the title mm. why he called it that because it just straight away had that feel to it, didn't it? Mm. Uh, and I'm sure you yeah. felt that too, Phil. You know, because you have been, we're yeah. not really supposed to talk about it, but you have been a spy in your past, obviously. I have, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, don't talk about it, please. Yeah. Cause I won't, I won't you're blowing me cover now, aren't you? I mean, <laughs> nobody's going to forget this face in an Ori, are they? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be sneaking. Were you a Russian spy in Off the Red, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Hey. I've, still, I've still got full security for um, top secret facilities. But anyway, here we go. Now, so I put on this, um, I'll play the ziver, you stick to the saw, said Simon. But what about the drummer, said the sawist. That's not a drummer, it's a drum machine, said Simon. Well, guess what, said the sawist, this saw's a theremin. Yeah, you see, you thought it was a theremin as well. Do you know what I thought you were about to do then? <laughs> I thought you were about to do, can I have my ball back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's so 2021. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if anybody listening to the show for the first time will be completely lost on. But anyway. Hold on, but have you noticed if anybody plays the saw, they always play Edelweiss. <laughs> and it goes like this. That's, that was able, able uh, for that. That's an that's eerily just, that's accurate just, impression. That's just hard our, <laughs> hard our listening audience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Down to one. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you've been practising that all day, Phil, as well, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> it used to be a party piece. <laughs> and what a party piece it is. But it was a great song. Was that another send-in, was it? Uh, yeah, I, th- I think the first time we've had Simon on the show. Brilliant. Um, so, so yeah, so uh, I think it's based in London, uh, Penge right. in London. Uh, I think it said so. Uh, Sonny yeah, Penge. he. How should I say? He self-taught musician lives in London. Uh, <laughs> keyboards, bass, guitar, double bass. Uh, uh, so he plays guitars, ukulele, so chromatic harmonica. So yeah, so he's uh, so quite versatile. Brilliant. I really love that. Anyway, so please do send another one through, Simon, because uh, mm. it, it's nice to get a bit of an unusual feel to a piece. In yeah, it was well. very unusual. Yeah. Um, speaking about unusual, we've got something great coming on uh, a little bit later on. If you want to know a little clue of what about it is, um, Tentacles, Tesco's Wallet and Watch, just wait and see. Uh, but anyway, it's not yet. Um, so what we've got coming next, though, is I am an ear. Analog, electronic, whatever.
Well, talking about 80s, I am here, analog, electronic, whatever. Again, that 80s feel yeah. really mm. coming through tonight. That was a great bit of vocoding in there as well. You can't beat yeah, it. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Yeah. That. Just, it reminded me a bit of uh, Telex from Belgium yeah. back in the 80s. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Do you know what God, this is made of? It is. Uh, I don't, I'm afraid. Um, I, um, I think again he's he's based in Derbyshire as well actually I think uh, yeah so he's he's from Derbyshire um, but when we get emails from him he comes across as Mr B as in Buzz bzz. so bzz. that's nice that's <laughs> lovely again fascinating facts Martin uh, so uh, Phil <laughs> yes I'm sure you've written something yeah. highly entertaining amusing and yeah. highly descriptive so- around this as well. Well, does it, do you remember Metal Mickey from, from the 80s? Yes. yes. <laughs> Saturday evening, 5 o'clock, Metal no, Mickey. Just me. <laughs> it's just me, you didn't need all. Humour him, humour him. I thought Metal Mickey fancied a sing-along. <laughs> Metal Mickey fancied a sing-along. So he tuned in to Pulsate Radio and heard the analogue, electronic, whatever. Immediately, he felt the compulsion to join in turning the electronic melodies into a synth pop classic. Beautiful. Because there's that vocodery sound. Yeah. Mm. A bit like Metal mm. Mickey used to sound. It was. It was. Did pop, he used pop. to go, billy, billy, billy. No, uh, no, that was Tweety. No, that, that was, that's, but, that's Buck Rogers, that was. Yeah, yeah Tweety off Buck Rogers. Okay, Buck. Oh, Hello, <laughs> Buck. Y'all have got the wrong good robot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Metal Mickey was rubbish. I'm sure you must remember. It used to be five o'clock on a Saturday. It was an appalling program. As a kid, I loved it, obviously, but... You're getting your robots all mucking fuddled. Terrible. (laughs) (laughs) I was more of a Cyberman himself. I'll tell you what I did like about it. Got your joke book. What I liked about Metal Mickey, got your joke book, Jules. (laughs) (laughs) Should we wear that gun? (laughs) <laughs> that was another great song there thank you very Carry much on, for anyway. sending that <laughs> thank you very much what? for sending that <laughs> uh, right where are we now you've got me all confused right coming up now we've got um, this is a goodie again this is Self Control by more. it's not my fault I'm always right Not your fault, you're in denial All in all, you always seem to question my desires You lose your own self-control Take one more step and you're on
touch your skin just one more time. One more time. Will you let me in inside your mind? Your body's shaking and I always make you cry Use your own self-control Take one more step and you're on your own Can you feel it? I can feel it self-controlled by more 80s 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 tonight martin again what? a very was, 80s did, feel yeah didn't it didn't he sound like a uh, dave gayen from from uh, depeche mode it was absolutely. very absolutely is it yeah. Yeah, have, yeah. I been, have i been pronouncing it wrong all my life Great. i've always said dave gahan is it dave gayen <laughs> well that's i don't know you can't dave say gayen. but I, i've always said dave gahan <laughs> but is it not i don't know well you, you're obviously very posh well, I do, I, well people from, have always looked at, me, always looked at me a little bit odd when I've said it. Uh, and, and I'm a big Depeche Mode fan. Oh, how embarrassing <laughs> if I've been doing it all my life. Dave Gahal. Anyway, Gahal. I'm sure, sure somebody will write in and tell us. Uh, but anyway, uh, that was uh, self-control. And it, but it did, you're right, it did have that Dave Gahal uh, sound to his voice. But it, I wrote down there, the, particularly the vocals had a, a very big 80s feel to the whole thing. Mm, mm. Well, um, there, here we go. They're from Sweden. Ah, yeah. Swedish. Perfect. I thought it was a beautiful song. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we were contacted by um, uh, uh, Magnus, uh, Magnus uh, Dahlberg, uh, who's right. the lead singer, uh, sent us sentences in. And uh, they got a new album coming out, uh, I think in February, called Appraisal. Okay. Um, so, um, you can get them on Bandcamp, morethecrew.bandcamp.com. Um, so it'd be, be nice to hear some more, more stuff, more stuff from more, more. stuff from more. Yeah. Yay. Hey. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. yeah, I, I, yeah. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was brilliant. Yeah. What did you think, Phil? Well, I put here, it's a bit of acting now. Look, it, I can't do the accent though. Like you, Jules. Um, <laughs> it's not my fault. You know, I'm all, you know, I'm always right. Said the lead singer when somebody pointed out, he put too much spring reverb on the drums. And by the way, <laughs> You can never put too much spring reverb on the drums. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Because it got that springy reverb sound, hasn't it, on the drums, yeah. if you've yeah. ever listened to it. Talking about percussion, uh, there's some fantastic percussion in this next one. And do you know why? Because it is... <laughs> That's right. It's Martin's Monster. And what it is. a monster you've picked. Mm. This week, Martin, it's an absolute belter. We're going to kick straight into it. We'll chat about it on the other side. It's Spiral Into Darkness by Delugo. Thank you. 
was I would just describe that as an experience. Demergo spiral into darkness, some deep sounds inside there, that beautiful, almost buzzing mm. bass inside there, some fantastic keyboard work. Yeah. That was astonishing. But I listened I listened to it uh, today, and that's what again I've sort of listened to it a few weeks ago, but I thought, yeah, this 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 is good, this is complex. Um, and that's what I liked about it because it, uh, it it wasn't just a, a forward struck one straightforward structure. It 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 uh, just 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 weaved and uh, yeah, there were uh, change change of tempo, change of uh, I, I don't know, but it just had that complexity about it. And yeah, it could be again the JC word. It could be a mm. John Carpenter theme. Uh, there's a few. There's a little bit of um, heads up to Ennio Morricone in there. Was I heard that these with these um, music box sounds as well that came uh, in. True. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. so um, yeah. Demi. Oh, well, Demi Ergo. Well, I'm not sure what his uh, what his name is, uh, but um, uh, or her name. I'm not sure. Um, oh. But from Italy. So yeah. Uh, oh. Great great track. Va bene. Uh, so, and I'm sure uh, yeah. it's very good, very good in Italian. Um, and I'm sure, Phil, you've written some va bene words. I can't remember any more Italian, did it at the university? But that's yeah. about all I've got. Some va bene words around this. Uh, so, just yeah, well, uh, belli- bellissimo. Yeah, I was getting bellissimo. I was, bellissimo. Well, I was getting the the theme tune vibe, and I put down mm. the piano in the Hogwarts Grand Hall was put to mm. good use mm. with all the windows sealed. And before long, all the suits of armour joined in with various groove boxes, synths and enchanted musical boxes as Lord Voldemort danced the poot. (laughs) (laughs) If anybody's a Devo fan, they'll know about dancing the poot. (laughs) (laughs) I bet you had a Devo plastic haircut in the day, didn't you, Phil? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had the old um, flower pot. Yeah, flower pots. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> used, used to wear it to work till I got uh, disciplined. <laughs> <laughs> Which is strange because you worked at a garden centre. That's right. <laughs> You'd have thought they'd been pleased. You would. You would. Apart from the fact you were stealing flower pots and then you gave it away by wearing them <laughs> on your head most days. But anyway, we, we do digress. Uh, mm. Right. So, uh, but that was an amazing uh, Martin's Monster. Thank you very much, Martin, for picking that one out. And oh, it, yeah. A- he- you can hmm. find uh, soundcloud.com forward slash Demiurgo project. Okay, we better just spell Demiurgo for people here, which is D E M I U R G O. Yes, yes. Project. Mm. There we go. Superb. Uh, thank you very much, indeed, for that. Uh, now, something special coming up Tentacles, Testicles, Wallet, and Watch. It is indeed mm. the amazing Dr. Tentacles. It's our good uh, friend. It is our good friend. Uh, it's, uh, talking about, you were talking about being sealed away somewhere. I hope the good doctor has been sealed away inside his crypt just to keep him enclosed and keep uh, building these amazing pieces of music for us. So let's kick into it. This is The Amazing Dr. Tentacles with Real Time Samurai. <laughs> Thank you. 
was the amazing Dr. Tentacles with real-time samurai. But again, talking about percussion on the previous one, the percussion in this was fantastic. Some of the percussion in here almost sounded like machine guns, uh, which is not, not surprising from the Doctor, but, you know. Well, it, I mean, it starts off quite mellow. Mm. I, so you don't think, is it, is it um, uh, Dr. Tentacles? But then he goes berserk at the oh, end. Yeah. And yeah. I thought, that's it, that's him. Yeah, there's about there's a bit just after about three minutes, three minutes ten or something like that, and it just goes mental, like mm. properly, mm. <laughs> properly mental. <laughs> but it's but it's just great. But again, even when it goes mental, the structure that's built into it's fantastic. It's yeah. just the way he yeah. constructs stuff is yeah. so clever and so complex as well. It's a, I mean, it's a, uh, yeah, it, it was a different piece. It was a different side to him. Uh, certainly at the beginning, it was sort of quite quite yeah. more sort of laid back. Uh, mm. But but then I thought. Oh, this doesn't sound like, but then, as you say, yeah, mental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no need to worry. It will always go mental. Yeah, yeah. Will. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's lost. He's lost the words. He's lost the words. That's the first. I've lost, I've lost my Dr. Tentacle thing, but I could remember the track. I could remember what I wrote, but for some reason, I didn't save it on the, on the file. But um, I said, I said along the lines of um, Dr. T's mother shouted up the stairs. Who's that you've got playing in your room? That's not your usual stuff, Mr. T. And then she heard the middle bit. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have my ball back? Because um, it wasn't like his normal stuff. It was a yeah. little bit more toned down. But then yeah. it, was always yeah. a, it was always on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a very clever, very clever musician. Yeah, he is. It wasn't yeah. toned down in the middle there. It was just, it was proper good old fashioned. No. Dr. Tentacle's <laughs> grit in the middle. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It might have been unhinged, didn't it? <laughs> it was absolutely. Yeah, it was just great brilliant. to hear. And again, if you want to hear more amazing Dr. Tentacles, I think, is it his band camp, isn't he, Dr. Tentacles? Um, yeah. Yo, Dr. 
Dr. Tentacles. That's DR Tentacles. Bandcamp.com. Yo, Dr. Tentacles at Bandcamp.com. Well, if you want to look back in the archive of some of our previous shows, we've played a lot of Dr. Tentacles yeah. stuff before. Yeah, we love it. Uh, one, of the, uh, mm. one, of the, one of the best ones is probably uh, Werewolf Scum. So if you want to look back in the archives, that's an absolute mm. corker in there. Right, yeah. okay, we're going to have to move on. Uh, right, next up, we've got Bad Companion Industrial Zoo. Bad Companion uh, by Industrial Zoo. Mr. Potty Mouth has come to visit, I see. 
Oof. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I was blushing. <laughs> oh, what are we blushing, to, uh, boys? Yeah. Language, Timothy. <laughs> but oh, what a corker! Yeah, it was a cork. It was an absolute yeah. belter. It was. It was very this angry is our, about something. This is our second track um, from Industrial Zoo, and, and they're great, uh, great duo: Oliver Jacobi and Thomas Weber from Germany. Um, oh, I heard, good. yeah, yeah, I, I heard uh -huh. sort of uh, Nine Inch Nails. She yep. wants revenge. That sort of epic, sort of dark style. But yeah, it was quite. It was. It was quite sort of a dark and uh, nasty. And uh, well, the lyrics were a bit nasty. He was very angry. <laughs> very angry. About very ang it. angst. A bit of angst into it. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, That's overcooked good his pot noodle. Left his pot noodle too long. It's dried out slightly. It will mm. make you angry. That's yeah. pot noodle. Mm. It's the nicht gut. You'd be saying. <laughs> I would imagine, wouldn't you, Phil? If I offended oh, yeah. another nation. Yeah, I'm just laughing because I've, I wrote the review for this a couple of days ago and uh, I forgot what I wrote. <laughs> I've read it. <laughs> but, you know, it's called the, the title of the song's Bad Companion. So I've put, I'm not saying that 1970s English hair rock supergroup Bad Company influenced the title of this track, but the more I hear the lyrics, the more I think it did. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Company, you see, there's a bit of bad language in there, isn't there? There is indeed very if you keep bad company. Mm. There, there well, is. I thought it's a fab, but joking apart, it's a cracking track. Yeah, that's oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. superb. Again, was this ascending? Was it or where we had this? From? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I heard them on uh, um, another radio show oh, right. a few months ago. Um, um, uh, Stuart Stuart Colder's show. He he does uh, Friday nights. And uh, so I contacted them and uh, they, they, we, we played one of their tracks a few months ago. And uh, so this is the second one we played. So we've had a, a few revisits uh, we, we, and uh, one or two uh, new faces that uh, we've had tonight. So, yeah, Fantastic. it's all good. Now, yeah. talking about new faces, there's a, there's a new kid on the block. Uh, there's a yeah. young lad. He's trying his best out there. Uh, he's popped a couple of little bits and pieces out there. Uh, so we're going to give him a try tonight and just see if everybody likes him. His name's John Hopkins. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to yeah. end off on that. Bless and this him. Is, and this is Abandoned Window. Hi.
And that was, of course, John Hopkins with Abandoned oh. Window, which is just possibly the most beautiful piece of music ever created. The guy's a mm. genius, classically trained pianist, uh, fantastic synthesis, uh, amazing creator, and uh, just all round generally interesting and nice person. Fantastic choice yeah. to end the night off, Martin. I mean, what else can you say about John Hopkins? Uh, well, I actually chose this because uh, we normally associate John Hopkins with his wonderful, glitchy, mm. fantastic, uh, you know, glitchy sounds and uh, what the really trippy, tripping beats. But this was this is just beautiful ambience. Um, yeah, you know, his other side, and you know, to show, uh, and that's what I like about him. You know, you know, yeah. one moment you, you can you listen to this uh, wonderful, wonderful sort of glitchy sounds, and then and then you're 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 immersed in just beautiful ambience. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Phil, I'm sure you'd agree with that. Everybody loves John Hopkins, don't they? Oh, oh yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, and I've put um, John Hopkins plays a poorly mic'd piano at the far end of Hogwarts Grand Hall. The windows have been abandoned by the glass, allowing the commotion from the rainstorm and nearby Quidditch match to flood into the room. Because there's a bit of ambient stuff going on in there yeah. and with a beautiful piano. But it was you can, all a bit, you, you know. You can hear the piano action. And, uh, I, th I think you can hear some. Yeah, you can. When you listen yeah. to it, you can hear the piano action on it. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, and it's, uh, I'm and that's sure. Brilliant. That's it. why. Yeah. I'm sure I watched the documentary on, and I can't remember if it was making this song or another one, where he actually mics it inside the piano. So you get the sound yeah. of the piano, but you can also get the sound of the actual physical physicality of the piano. Yeah. Yeah. Mechanisms. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. That's why I Which said lovely. poorly mic piano, because in most situations that would be poorly mic'd, but in this, yeah, it's oh, yeah. this it's was part intentional. Of the yeah. 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 And yeah. It, yeah. I'm pretty sure it does actually mic it inside the piano itself <coughs> to actually achieve mm. that. So, um, but yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic choice. That's what ended up for night, Martin. Right. We're going to have to rattle through the little rundown of what we've had tonight and say our goodbyes because we're running out of time. What a very sad situation that is so let's just quickly whiz through what we had amazing selections tonight as always martin we started off with Robag room rusty nails then we jumped on to johnny diamonds not literally obviously uh the signal uh then it was not my time zero corporation very 80s feel tonight martin one of the uh one of their kind of remain right in there what does that say one of their angles no one of their angels what does that say agents oh. One of their agents, it was. Oh, that's it, yeah, yeah. One of their agents by Simon Beck. Uh, I am here, analog, electronic, whatever. Uh, then we had self-control more. Then we moved straight into Martin's Monster, which was Spiral Into Darkness by Dimergio. Uh, then, of course, it was Tentacles Telecos. What's the, what, I can't even say it. Tentacles Telecos. <laughs> What? Who? Tentacles, testicles, wallet and watch. That's right. It was the amazing Dr. Tentacles with real-time samurai. Then we had Bad Companion, Industrial Zoo, and ended off with the wonderful, the ethereal, the beautiful, and the utterly amazing John Hopkins with Abandoned Window. Uh, Martin, amazing selection of things again tonight. Phil, amazing words again tonight from you. So can we get a big goodbye first off from Martin? Bye. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'll give you an eight for that. Uh, Phil? Welcome 2022. Death to COVID. Death to COVID. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Eight.